All right, here we go. Next ultimate team game. It's like my players are on top. Well, take that back. He has about the same equal overall guys. So, oh well. Oh, it's New England and the Jets. Let's see how this game's gonna go at the Cowboys Stadium. What? No. Evident Jet fans loving the Cowboys, of course. All right. Really need to get some better pass rushers. There we go. Nice. Come on. Yeah, baby. Nicely done. No! Come on! Ah! Uh, dang it! Well, that sucked. Dangerous in the passing game. You put him in space, and you've got trouble as a defense, and they they organize that one very well because you know the screen game. When you have to Boom! Yeah, nice. Form, look out! He turned into a heck of a play. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there—a big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Now it's Newton. Oh. Where the heck was he going? He's going to that tight end. Defense has set themselves up nicely. Third and ten now. Come on. Throwing on third down. Newton. Yeah. know they absolutely have to win and the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback but pressure on the quarterback with contact that's how you end up winning it okay look all right gotta stop him here he found there on the sidelines offense gonna go for this on the opening drive they are gonna go for it it's new it's there we go yeah that game and on the opening drive of the afternoon the defense forces a turnover on downs all right here we go first carry for Matt Forte able to push his way forward here for a good a decent game. run five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five and that's exactly what you want on a first down run pick up five yards bring up second and five the defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Play fake, Rivers. They'll roll him out right. It's nice. Yeah. He's gonna go out of bounds at the 30 yard line. But Mike Evans sees man coverage. I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I'll guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. On first down, this is Forte. Nice. Decent run. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's ah! Or I think I got it anyways. If they do that, no, I did not. That's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. They'll 
There we go. appreciate runners who understand situations that was just third and inches no reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play just go pick up the first down and that's exactly <sighs> and there we go down to the seven give him eight on the play and it'll bring up a second down for a second there i thought that might break big screen pass looked like it was coming together looked like there was an opening still ended up with a solid game on second down four ten ah <sighs> Doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Let's see so here. There. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. You got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Third and short yardage. Rivers flushed out right. Oh, man. I pressed B like three seconds before he sacked me. That's gay. Get out of here, man. My god, that was stupid. I had him, but for some reason he didn't get rid of it. Come on. To begin quarter number two, they are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And the first play will be a field goal try. Ah. Yeah, put points on the board anyways. Man, that sucks, though. I had him for a touchdown. So after slogging through a scoreless first quarter, we have action on the scoreboard. A field goal makes it 3-0. Well, with these two offenses, we weren't going to stay 0-0 forever, were we? I'm not sure that this opens the floodgates, but I doubt that's the last scoring we're going to see. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And on that last drive... Went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, so they held him to three. But this Come on. Be a bit better ah. careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. Think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense. Because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, Gronkowski missed it. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Second and ten. Newton again. He hits Baldwin right side. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third mm. down. Stick with this. From the gun on third down, Newton. Nice! Robert Quinn! They got him for a sack. Robert Quinn plays a run just fine, but what he does really well, chase down quarterbacks. That's his second sack of the game. I love his versatility. He can be out on the edge, he can move inside of those nickel or sub packages and rush over the guards. And when he does that, quickness and excellent hand. Yeah! The blockers. That's when he gets it done. Beautiful. Head scratcher there. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. On the counter, Forte. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Not an ideal spot to be on first down, but I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. Now a second down throw for Rivers. Dang it, man. I didn't even get to throw that freaking thing. Sometimes called just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Jesus. Uh, really give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on 
third and eight. From the gun, Rivers. Evans has it. Oh. It's a gain of Darn it. On the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So that scores now on their first two possessions, but it's 6 nothing. probably not the kind of scores they were hoping for. No, not at all, but I think that they've shown that they can have some success against this defense. So they'll go back to the sideline knowing the points are going to be there for the taking. The New York set to take the field. And last time we saw them go for it in kind of an unusual situation. It's not like it's a fourth quarter do or die. They went for it, didn't get it. We'll see how that affects them this year. Partner, I'm wondering if we're starting to see the effects of analytics coming in. Ah. Where people are studying the number of possessions, how many times you should go for it, what position it leaves your team in. Maybe we're starting to see a little bit of that creeping into the NFL game. Yeah, I think we, we've seen it in other sports, maybe into the NFL now as well. On first down, Newton. Darn it. Hitter here, it's complete. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. That looked like a pretty good wrap combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Get some space. Here's Newton. Looking left side and it's complete. Darn it. And he's brought down. 18 yards on the pick up there. And the Jets are going to have a first down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards. And this is God dang it. He doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. They'll try and run it with McCoy. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. A loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the running game? Ah, oh, dang it, man. Drive and something really to take into the sacks freaking kill me here. Into the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. The drive begins with a run by Forte. And a nice run past the 30-yard <laughs> line there. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now Rivers. God, man, my offensive lineman. Ugh. God, my offensive lineman. Ugh. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken All right, very great. short. Yeah, they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? 
typically what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We just start in the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and Come on! Dude, I'm getting irritated now. Come on. Oh my god! The AI is what's killing me! Oh yeah, stupid offensive lineman and stupid drops. Come on. Oh my god! Michael Kendricks in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Come on. Do I have any offensive linemen on my freaking team? Oh my god, man. Oh my, <laughs> I hate that when I, looks like I'm going far and then I get tackled off screen. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that. Oh my god, man. Come on. 
play. His third sack of the afternoon. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And he's unable to... Of course. Can't catch it. Of course. And that brings up four. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone is going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. I'm getting really freaking mad now. Here's Spencer landing now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Back now in Arlington. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. Start the drive with a carry by McCoy. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box. In a look at there we go. Oh, I needed something. I, I need to get my offense going. If I could have at least someone at least attempting to block. They worked their way back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. But they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes sense. Ah, I really don't like any of these plays. Your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there if he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback that has to slide and find open space to throw. Rivers now, the throw on first down. Flush to his right. And ah. picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Throwing, Rivers. Evans has it left side. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. It fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic, so anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add it a little extra in the end with a short run. Escaping the pressure right. This will be caught at about the six. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Possible run anticipation here as the D line sandwiches together. On the ground, 410. Ah. He is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. But I was playing all our defensive coaches talked about when you're near your own goal line and you're trying to stop them from getting in, your heart gets tested. What a nice play on the last down. A lot of heart on second. Do they have the heart on third? Well, they held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. Rivers going to try and sneak it. Oh, my God. You freaking moron. Well, they paid the guys on defense as well. They were prepared and really executed. And cause the loss of yardage on a I cannot sneak. believe I can't get in there. Come on. You see losses of yardage on a QB sneak will surprise a head scratcher. 
Desperation time. Rivers on fourth down. And no. You. Come on. can believe this by the Patriots. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second down following the run. Throwing here, Newton. Now he'll dump it underneath to Oh my god. You Are you freaking kidding me? Get out of here. That was freaking stupid. Come on. And you can't be because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. He made his first Great. attempt. This from 45. Oh, my God. Well, partner, even though my final right. arm failed. Man. It was the freaking idiots that let up freaking all them freaking sacks. But thanks for sharing a booth and thanks for being our quarterback. Yeah, you're the whole line pretty much. Look at this. Oh boy. Look at all these idiots here. Yeah, let up all them freaking sacks. Good job. Good job. Oh my god. 